Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we're in Newcastle for opening night of Benidorm Live, a new stage show and musical by writer Darren Litton, who wrote the TV series, of course. The ITV award-winning comedy is now live across the UK, bringing the shenanigans and belly laughs of Benidorm to a theatre near you. This show celebrates the lunacy of British holidaymakers in Spain's most notorious resort, where anything goes. The nation fell in love with the staff and punters of the Solana in Benidorm for over a decade on TV. Now you can see your favourite characters on stage in this two-hour camp fest of feel-good nonsense. Naturally, if you like the TV show, you'll love Benidorm Live. With clever staging, a slinky script and interestingly very little bad language, this is a night out for the whole family. Even your auntie Fanny might like it. Comedy genius Darren Litton has now written a new show, variations on an old theme, of course, as the staff and punters swap Sangria for Stoke and Paella for Plymouth. You'll be chuckling all the way to the Costas, the place, not the coffee shop. If you're lucky, you'll even be swinging in the aisles with Jacqueline. This is not Brecht or Harold Pinter. It's basically bawdy from the Balearics whilst being taken up the Blackpool Tower. If you don't like the relentless double entendre, then I'd stick to Phantom if I were you. Not many laughs there. Expect a litany of camp old nonsense and chuckles in one of the most innuendo rammed comedy sitcoms in history. Sit and enjoy or basically blow and go. You'll get all of your favourite characters other than Madge on the mobility scooter, health and safety, band her unfortunately, nightmare backstage. Starring Jake Canuso as Matteo, he has the only electric dance number in the show. He owns this part. Janine Davitsky, of course Jacqueline, is the queen of knowing smut, with heart of course. It's truly delicious to see her perform and Adam Gillian brings a Lee Evans physicality and energy to Liam. Sherry Hewson gets the biggest cheer as Joyce Temple Savage and brings her usual ditzy megalomania to the role whilst Shelley Longworth is a lovable Sam. Beautiful singer too. Most impressive for me was Tony Morsley as Kenneth, who has the nearest comic brilliance and warmth to Les Dawson that my generation will ever see. His stage presence fills the room. You cannot fail to love him, one of the best comic actors of his generation. Nods to Neptune's very own Asa Elliott, who is the ultimate club singer with impressive vocals, and Damian Williams as Gay Derrick, who drives the show with dame-like comic timing. The smutty limerick was inspired, formidably performed in the most beautifully crafted section of the show. This production is a victim of its own success. You're either in or out. The show is deliberately aimed at real people with northern sarcasm and humour. There's no doubting Darren's humour and rhythm is at best up there with Peter Kay. There's some very clever staging, perfectly timed misdirection, lovely lighting, but ultimately this is a cast-driven comedy with music. With such a stellar cast of pros, it can't fail if this is your bag. It's disappointing to see yet another production with no live music at £50 for top price tickets. This is a liberty and doesn't sit well with me. Certainly in Act 2, a pianist and live drummer at least would have massively added to the atmosphere of Neptunes. To work off track feels indefensible for this scale of production on this length of tour. Overall, I love the show and didn't stop laughing for two hours. It is what it is. If you like Benidorm, you will love seeing Benidorm live. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12.5 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!